In this example, we're going to solve this equation here, and we're going to use the square root principle to do so. If you'd like to try this on your own first, go ahead and pause the video and do so, and then come on back and we'll work a solution together. All right, so the notion of using this uh, square root principle to solve this equation is because you'll see we have this perfect square right here. So we have this quantity x plus 6, and it's being squared. So in order to use the square root principle, we'll first have to isolate this expression on the left side of the equation by itself. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and use some inverse operations, and we'll start by adding 108 to both sides. And so the left side has this 3 still out front with this perfect square quantity, and then equals 108. Well, an inverse operation for this 3 being multiplied here is division. So let's divide both sides by our 3. And so now we'll see that x plus 6 quantity squared equals, well, 108 divided by 3 will be 36. All right, so our square root principle says we're going to now do the square root of both sides of this equation. But one thing that students often forget, and let's not forget it, is that this right side over here with the numeric value requires a plus or minus. And so when we do the left side, the square and the square root cancel. So we have x plus 6 equals. But on the right side over here, we have plus or minus the square root of 36, which is 6. And so to finish getting this x by itself, we're going to subtract 6 from both sides. And what this will look like is x equals this negative 6 that we just subtracted plus or minus that 6 that's right there. Well, what does this plus or minus do? Well, it means we actually have two values for x. Our first value of x is going to be negative 6 plus 6 from the plus. And our second value of x is going to be negative 6 minus 6 using the minus. And so the first one will be, well, negative 6 plus 6 is 0. The second one is negative 6 minus 6, which is negative 12. And so we can generalize this by saying now my x values are 0 and negative 12. And these are the two solutions for my equation. And we can go ahead and uh, let's see, plug them back in, so 0, so 0 plus 6, well that's 6, squared is 36, 3 times 36 is 108, and when I subtract 108, yeah, I do get 0. When we try the negative 12, negative 12 plus 6, that'll be a negative 6, but when I squared, it will come out to be a positive 36, times the 3 is 108 again, yeah, minus 108 is that 0. So we went ahead and plugged them back in, we saw that they both work, so here is the solution for this equation, and we found it by using the square root principle.